Hey everybody, look at what I got. This is awesome. I have the Shadow of the Colossus Ico collection. Ico Shadow of the Colossus collection. Regardless, um, this is some of the bonus content that came with it. It's some videos, as well as some dynamic themes, which I'm definitely looking forward to using. And, uh, yeah, that's the bonus stuff, but the game itself. I absolutely love this because they use You Were There, which is the credit scene or the credit song from Ico, and that's one of my favorite songs in either game, so I was really happy that this was what came up when you uh boot up the game, so let's get it started. Sorry about cutting it off there. That is an awesome song, I really love that song, but anyways, um I'm not gonna commentate too much. But I do want to kind of chip in, you know, just things that I notice, that sort of thing. So, if you really want to see footage of, of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, which is what I'm going to play first here, then uh, without commentary, if you don't want to hear me talking, then I also did a walkthrough without any commentary, so you can check that out. But for this, I definitely want to kind of just gasp at how amazing it is, even though I've already played it. I'm sure I'll be blown away yet again. Just because these games are just great. These are two of my all-time favorite games on the PS2 or any console, really. Just really amazing stuff. So, I am excited. So far it's pretty much the same, except Blue Point Games wasn't there on the PS2 version. They must add something to do with uh, remaking it. HT te texturing, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, let's watch this. I think you could actually move the camera around. Yeah, there we go. You can move the camera around and see stuff during cutscenes. Okay, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> And zoom in! Okay, that's enough. And zoom out. Can't remember. <laughs> I'm messing around with stuff, I apologize. I will say, it does look a lot clearer and smoother. Things just kind of look a little bit better. Not extremely, I mean. It was an amazing looking game back then, and it still is now. And I think the graphics really do hold up. And everything else in the game, but I mean, yeah. Because things were a tiny bit jaggy, or jagged on the PS2 version. And there were, there were times when there would be, you know, hiccups of lag, but otherwise, I mean, I'm really impressed.
man, I can't wait to get started. This is going to be a pretty long intro here. But you know what, I have to watch it again just to refamiliarize myself with this game. This is just too good. I have to look at everything. Even the options menu. Climb camera correction. This looks like they've added a few things, like full pixel mode. Does anybody know what that does? I'm not gonna mess around with options for right now, but... If anybody knows what full pixel mode is, that's about the only thing that interested me. For the time. Anyways. Sounds a lot clearer too, I'm noticing. Like this scene always sounded a little bit muffled. But it's really crisp now. Which I, I quite like. Yeah, there's gonna be a ton of little improvements like that. I probably don't need to point them out, but... It's just things I'm noticing that I'm kind of... Appreciating, you know. It's like a fine wine. Was you a dealer also? Few hours is easy. The color of the door you lola. Is this was I? How many quick? You are not lucky.
ウィズクリアズウォーズドコワシノウゼキオウテウィラアイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェ
I think it disconnected my controller. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so... Welcome to the Forbidden Lands. First triangle to jump, here is your horse. Oh, uh, this is just awesome. Alright, take out the sword. It's all coming back to me. I haven't I haven't played Shadow of the Colossus in a long time. Probably since I did the Let's Play of it. That was only really kind of a Let's Play of it. Well, there wasn't any commentary aside from the text commentary, but... Yeah. So... Alrighty. I am excited. How about we go out and get that first Colossus? I guess we probably won't be able to do too much, considering, you know, that took up a good 16 minutes. You know what? No, we can, we can probably take down the first Colossus if we hurry. I'll just... I don't really want to hurry, though. <laughs> I'm not in a big hurry at all. You know, I just, I want to... I want to pray at one of these prairie things. Save my game. There you go. Oh, goodness. This is taking a while to save. There we go. Alright. Just with a PS3, it takes longer to save this stuff. I don't know. The PS3 is famous for its ridiculous load time, so... I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, it's no big deal either way. I'm quite enjoying myself. It's a trip down memory lane. So if we press the start button, get a whole overlay of the map. As you go, these clouds get out of the way and you can see everything everywhere. It's, it's pretty fancy, but anyways. jump out here. I think that there are some, uh, fruits out this way. Oops. Hmm. This is kind of weird. I may have to change my control scheme. I think they might have changed it up a tiny bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it, though. There's usually, like, two or so fruits in every tree, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Let's climb up the tree, maybe, if we can. Yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Okay, now it's going to be easier for me to check for fruit. Um, the camera sensitivity it could use to be turned up a little bit, I think. It's just my preference. Um, no, I don't think there's any more fruit to get. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, the fruit is uh, to increase your life. So you eat the fruit. Don't stab the fruit. Eat the fruit. There you go. You get a little bit more uh, HP added to you, so you won't die quite so quickly if you get smushed. Although on hard difficulty, I think you get smushed regardless. So, let's see. Let's see if I remember this right. Nope. I'm trying to remember tricks that you could do with aggro. Sorry guys, I'm just kinda having fun with this right now. Maybe it was R. Yeah, it must have been. Here we go. You can stand on your horse. I am horse standing man. And then we get up here. up to the first Colossus here after they teach us how to do a little bit of climbing and platforming. Sort of just the preparation for uh, the Colossi fights and also just climbing around in general. So, yeah. And I believe that uh, this remake also has trophy support now, so um, be able to see any 
trophy type stuff we might get. I don't know what exactly we'll be getting, but it's sure to be interesting. Yeah, you know I haven't played Shadow of the Colossus in too long when I can't remember how to do a dodge roll. Ugh. But that's the whole reason why I got this again. I am very happy. <laughs> I'm trying to be very mellow, because that fits the mood of this game a lot more than being crazy excited, but regardless. Say hello to Valus, I believe. I believe Valus is the first one. I think Argus is like the 15th, so. Although they're very similar. I kind of call Argus Valus 2.0. So you can see all these birds flying around him. If you point this, uh, if you point this beam of light at him, you can exploit his weak, or ex reveal his weak points, rather. You don't exploit them, really, until you get right up to him, but. Anyways. If you hold down L1, then you can uh, get a nice shot of the Colossus. Alright, here we go. Being a wiggly one, damn it! Come on. Okay. Hey, what you doing, getting up? I think I didn't hold on, so I gotta do this again. Unfortunately. He doesn't give you a whole lot of time to climb up to his leg, so we gotta make with what time we have. There we go. Okay. Okay, and I usually like to cool down here for a little while. It's a pretty safe area. <laughs> Luckily somebody installed these nice little platforms on his back, so we don't have to worry too much about running out of stamina. But yeah, the controls feel a little bit tighter too. I notice it's a lot easier to uh, position yourself when you're uh, climbing around on his back. But yeah. So. Goodbye, Valis. I just noticed they added like a slow motion stab effect to your final blow. I really like that. Okay, so that concludes the first part, killing the first Colossus, so uh, next time we'll continue uh, with the next cutscene, and ooh, Valley Wonder, and uh, we'll take on the next Colossus, so thank you for watching, goodbye.